the powerful name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He's mar he marvelous. He's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And all I can think about is just goodness of God. That, it just, he's good. I, I, I can't explain it no other way. I never realized how something is so good. And you think when you eat food, you say, hmm, it's good. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a, a, a goodness of God too. It's so amazing that it blows my mind that just to think about the goodness, you know, what God is doing. And we sit and just really think about what he went through and how he did you say, God, you are good. Yes. He is really mm -hmm. good. That's all Thank I can you. think of. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. You're good. I just thank you tonight. Amen. Tonight, we're going to talk about Jesus. How Jesus returned. Amen. He returned. He returned. Amen. It's a greater thing to know that God is so good and how Jesus can turn. Amen. He can return. Jesus returned. In the condition Jesus went, I want to show y'all something. You know, we look at the scripture about how Satan come against Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how he's, then I got, y'all got some pencils and some papers and I got Amen. scriptures. Y'all going to look at these scriptures. Amen. Amen. And go follow that. It, and I, I'm just going to have a few scriptures I'm going to have tonight. But I went on and got some more scriptures so y'all can see what I'm talking about. How good he is. Amen. Amen. How Jesus so good in the natural man and his spiritual man. Amen. Amen. And I saw how Jesus went along with Satan and every every Satan wanted to throw at him. And he was throwing at Jesus in the flesh. Yes. Jesus was tempted in the flesh. Amen. And I thank God tonight how Jesus overcome the temptation of his flesh. And Amen. Satan did not win the victory. He know how to transform. Uh oh, y'all yes, didn't right. get that. <laughs> He knew how to transform. Amen. He knew how long he needed to stay in the flesh. Amen. When in time, he knew how to transform back into the spirit. Amen. Come on, y'all. He didn't have no sin. So, so we, we, we were born in sin and shaping and things. So y'all got to learn how to transform out of that sin. Amen. Come on, y'all. This is good, y'all. When I saw that, it blessed me. Amen. Amen. And I want y'all to see tonight how Satan thought he had Jesus through the flesh. But Jesus, Jesus had to, the Holy Ghost had the plan of Jesus to go through what he had to go through in the flesh. I want you to grab that something is already the plan that you got to go through the flesh, but you got to know how to transform. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And it was excited that's oh God, look at him. How Jesus went through what he did. Amen. I want you to turn to Luke, the fourth chapter. This way I got Luke bad. Luke is real bad. Luke broke it down a little more, more depth. In verse 14, I want y'all to see how Jesus handled this thing. I forgot. I'm going to show you something. It, it just blow my mind. All right, I want you to start at verse 1. I'm going to, I'm going to show y'all something. I got a person. Should I got a person? Okay. Luke 4, chapter, start at verse 1. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan. And was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Okay, the Spirit led Jesus what? Into the wilderness. And he had to return to, back to Jordan. Mm -hmm. See, he trapped. Mm -hmm. He went from different countries. Mm -hmm. And he went to different places, amen, to draft in everybody that need, that was here. Mm -hmm. He went back to Galilee, he went here, he went there. But he was doing these things, amen, to draft us mm -hmm. in. Amen. 
So the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. Sometimes the Holy Ghost will be leading you into some things. Sometimes he leads you into trouble. To get you out of trouble. And get some things off of you while he bring you out of the trouble. Alright? Okay, now look what he said. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. So 40 days he was tempted by the devil. Alright? So you go be tempted by the devil. Alright, come on. And in those days, he did eat nothing. In those days, he didn't eat nothing. Let me let me let me tell y'all something about that. About fasting. Fasting is a place is to bring your body unto submission. So your body being trained that it don't over, you know, dudge itself. <laughs> so you really get your body in, in the train like, okay, when you go to the hospital and they say, you got not eat nothing 24 hours. Mm -hmm. All right, 24 hours, you be about to, oh, I'm about to perish. <laughs> it's because the body, <laughs> no, I'm supposed to eat. Amen. So you really teaching the body, I obey you, you don't obey me. Amen. So the body was framed, Jesus' body was framed to resist what Satan would come up on him. When you weak, you can't do that. Yes, <laughs> so I want y'all to see that's what I got just some quick say. It, it's one person said like if I was to fast for 40 days. I would do that intentionally and my mind would be right. But if we got lost somewhere and without any food, we would die in probably 10 days. Mm -hmm. So it's a part of your mind being in control. So in, in this way you frame your thoughts is some people can't go long and fast. Right. You see, it's because it's how the body is trained. We don't train our body in areas to do with that. And the body don't want to do with that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> So Jesus, so Jesus fasted 40 days, and he, then that's when Satan came what? To tempt him. And he didn't eat nothing. And what happened? And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. When it came to the end of his fast, he was home. When you about to come to an end or something, that's when the enemy come at you to try to throw you off of All right now, say it ain't fair. <laughs> when you just Right <laughs> at And that's when he come in and try to get y'all cold. Tell it. Amen. Mm. That's what. So he know you at your weakest moment. moment. And you need to know where your weakness at so you know when he coming at you in that area. Amen. So you won't be so easy to what? To react to. Amen. Okay, look at Verse, oh my God, I want, I got some scriptures I want to explain that. I'm going to offer y'all, can I, can I do that for y'all? Okay, man. please do. I'm going to show you something. How it go, uh, we're going to go back to what I got. I didn't put it in the, in the paper. I want you to go to Exodus 34, 27 through 29. Jesus fulfilled him what he, Jesus, God said in the Old Testament. And then the rest I'm going to give y'all the right down. I'm going to tell you, it's exciting, man. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words. For after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. Mm -hmm. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. Where was Moses with, with the, the Lord? Lord. With 40, the Lord. 40 days and 40 so Jesus fulfilling. This is the fulfillment. Jesus filling the Old Testament that he in the Old Testament. Jesus did doing it in the New. Mm -hmm. All right, the way it says. See it. You can see how God does a thing. Come on. He did neither eat bread 
nor drink water. Okay, he didn't do none of Moses did, okay? And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two table, tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. See? How God began to deal with Moses the same way he dealt with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want y'all to see the difference. Okay. It's this, Jesus did the same thing Moses did. But only thing different between Moses and Jesus, Jesus was a covenant of the promise. Moses just brought us over. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. God still kept the covenant with Moses through Jesus. Amen. 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 See? I thank God for the covenant of God. How God look at people. I want y'all to look at things. How God look at people. And how he look at people. He want people to be in a place where he can use you if you in the flesh are out of the flesh. He can still use, use you. Amen. All you got to do is learn how to what? Resist Amen. the devil and he will flee. flee. All right? <laughs> Jesus resisted the devil and he flee because Jesus had no sin. Amen. Jesus took on our sin. Amen. Amen. So I ain't got the yield to my sin. Amen. Amen. All right. Come on. Who's up to something? And when Aaron and all the Okay, Jews, I'm going to go back. I just want y'all to see it. Go back. Uh -huh. That's all. I'm going to go no far. I just want y'all to see how Jesus went from the Old Testament over here. Now go back to Luke 4. And look what the devil said. Verse 3. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. Command and what I, I knew, and Lord gave me a revelation on that. He said, and the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, command that this, this stone, <laughs> this stone, that it be made bread. And God showed me what it was. The devil trying to make Jesus go against God's word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was a lie, too, because he knew he was the son. Yeah, mm -hmm. he knew, but he was, I went through your flesh. Mm -hmm. The enemy would come at you mm -hmm. to make you come against God's word. Mm -hmm. come. If God gave you a word, okay, he gave you a word. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use your house. God gave you a word about your house. Mm -hmm. All right. If I said that about your house, I'm going to give you the house. If you didn't get it in May, but you still going to get that. Tell it. Amen. 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 Get that. Amen. Because he do things in season Jesus. and time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to be outside and say, God, what he was doing to trying to get Jesus to come off the word. That's why Jesus said what he said in verse 4. Now look what Jesus said in verse 4. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written. It is what? Written. written. We just read it over Exodus, didn't yeah. <laughs> It is written. Uh -huh. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So he, he was saying, you don't live by natural things. Mm -hmm. You live by the, the word. Mm -hmm. You live by the spirit. Mm -hmm. He was saying to us, uh, we as Believer, we should live by the outward man. Amen. We live by the yeah. inward man. Mm -hmm. See, the inward man is the powerful man. Mm -hmm. And that's which is Jesus. Hallelujah. A lot of whole men, let me get this in you. Don't throw y'all throw my concentration, throw your hand up to me. Let me finish up, then I'll let y'all see what you got to say. What has happened is we live more with the natural man. This is what Jesus is trying to show us. You gonna be in the natural flesh, but 
you can overcome the flesh if you live more by the inner man mm -hmm. with the inner man which is his spirit. Mm -hmm. See, you, he can, Satan can tempt you, but he can't overcome you by the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what he's trying to show us. You can live in an area that Satan cannot pull you out from the, mm. the word. Amen. He couldn't pull Jesus from the, the word. Okay, I'm there. No, I was just going to say because Jesus honored the Father. He, and see, we, it's, we, the world honored the devil better than the Christians honored the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus honored the Father. And, so, and therefore, when the devil came in with, with the dishonor, that's when the spirit kick in. That honor part, like I know that he's my father and I'm going this way. So a lot of it got to do with honor and dishonor. And we need to, I do, because I was this picture, maybe look at myself today about check out our honor wall. What do you honor? I mean, you know. See, you, you made a good point that do you honor the flesh or do you honor the spirit? Mm -hmm. That's what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And so this is what Jesus is trying to show you. You gonna be, you can, you gonna walk in the flesh, all right? But the flesh is not powerful. Mm -hmm. It's your inner man, you. which is himself on the inside. That's why Jesus said, "But by the every word of God, and God is the word. word. Mm -hmm. The word, the God word, gonna lead you. So you need to stay in the word." word. Yes. Okay, look what else is saying. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him <coughs> all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Uh -huh. <coughs> Go ahead. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. You got to realize he can't give you something that he don't own. Mm -hmm. It belongs to God. Adam gave our rights up. Mm -hmm. But Jesus took our rights back. Amen. See, we, so Jesus took my rights back, so I have a right to the kingdom of God through Jesus. So whatever the, the world offers you, if it's not of God, then that's not, that don't belong to you. So we got to know what is good and what ain't not good. Amen. Amen. Jesus stays still. Now look how he came at him when he told him, I'm going to offer you all of this. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. So you got to realize who you're going to serve. That's it. That's it. And when you look at the body, because I, the body seems like they serving more of the things of the world than they are here. So we need to realize, uh, is I'm committed to him or I'm committed to the world? Amen. I die out the world and come alive in the spirit. Amen. 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 All right, come on, look.